So what we, uh, what I went around and checked for was to make sure that you'd taken off the wood, so you got one foot behind, one foot back, and uh, that you've established a little bit of a, of an edge here, on the shoulder, uh, at the back, and on the other side it's in reverse. So this, because this arm is back. The other thing I'm looking for is to make sure that you've got the side of the face established, and you've got the hunk removed on either end and right back to the ear. It's not, it's not necessary to remove it from behind if you want to give them a, a bunch of hair behind. You can still ha do that if you leave it. I just run a V-tool down there. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to orient the arms and the, and the legs. We want to point them. So if this guy here is pointing, okay, then this becomes his flat point. That becomes his knee there where that sharp edge is. Okay, and so it comes right down to this is the point of his, of his, uh, of his toe down here. Make sense to you that we've got to, so we're, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to establish a flat edge there. Likewise, on the other side, we're going to do the same. And even on the, uh, where the elbow is on the arm and orient that as well as the other arm. We want to get, we want to find those points. All right, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll uh, do that and uh, get back to you in a minute here. Okay, so I'm going to find the knee. And we'll just use this one as, a, as the example. So I'm going to create a flat spot for the knee. And so that is going to be his knee. Likewise, that is going to be his toe. Alright, so that, that just get those two areas established and uh, we'll go from there. I'll work specifically on this one. And then I want to get rid of some of this material coming up here. Likewise, the material coming down here. I'm creating a little bit of a flat spot. So now I can put my center line back in here. And that establishes the that establishes the motion. The body language, if you will. And I notice some of you have your the hollows in here, the crotch area is already established, which is good. We're gonna narrow that down. So once you point that knee, once you've got that knee pointed in, and you feel comfortable with the shape of that, then you can start looking at the back side of the, of the leg. So you can see right away that you can start to create the, the shape of that leg. See how it points? Once you've got it pointed, then you can start addressing the shape. And that works on both sides. So you can see right away I've got a big hunk here. Well the big hunk there is was to establish the, the, the furthest out point of the knee. So now I can start to remove some wood and, and get that leg shape. So I'll work specifically on this on his left leg and then I'll come back and and you'll be able to see some of the progress on it. We're just roughing out again. We're not giving it detail. So there it is with the leg and the toe pointed. Just very, very roughly laid out. Now we got to do the same with the other side, exactly the same way on the other side. So you make a flat spot that points your toe and your knee is going to be there. You get your flat spot and then we can start turning that around. I'll go ahead and set that other side up as well. Uh, there's, one, there's one more thing uh, that I want you to do, and that's once you get the the boot roughed in, his uh, this foot, his left foot, I want you to mark on there uh, a line so that remembers 
or reminds you that that heel is going to be off the ground. Okay? So just mark it on there. Don't carve it off because you've got to shape the boot before you do that. But that's just a little memory thing so that you don't forget. Okay? We'll, we'll uh, let everybody catch up. His right arm, the one that has the glove in his hand. So if you take a look at the diagram, you'll see that there's a bit of a shiny spot there. That would be more or less the point of the elbow. So the elbow is not pointed straight out like as much as what the knees were. More of a back on it than um, so, so it's on a bit of an angle. So and take a look at where it is with respect to the see the bottom of the glove here and where the elbow is here. Or if you wanted to, if you want to, if you're very specific about it, you want to measure down. You have the rough out where the the hat is, where the back of the hat is, or the bottom of the hat. So you could measure down to find out where that elbow is exactly. And so what I usually do is I put a, a pen or a pencil on and I I put my thumb at the bottom of where the where the the uh, elbow is going to be. So then I can come back and I can find it. And so there it is right there. That gives me a, a rough idea of, as to where it should be. So that way you, I'll, I'll know where the taper starts to go the other way eventually. So once again I create the flat spot where the in the direction that I figure the elbow is going to be. So there's the flat spot. And so now I see that I, I figure the elbow is going to be about there. So once again, that's the direction of where the elbow is going to be. So now I can start to visualize that, okay, I got to take the material off that way. I got to start to round the, the arm a little bit, maybe even narrow it down because the, the arm is certainly big, narrower than the wood I've got there. The other thing that you can start to consider is where the the glove is going to be. And you can see that the glove protrudes beyond the arm. Okay? And so if I put them side by side, you can see that this is the mass of the glove. And the arm and the hand goes into the glove and it stops just inside the, the, the body. So you can put a line there to establish that's where my profile is going to be to create that angle and this big hunk has to come off here. So I'll go ahead and set that up and then uh, I'll show you where we're at. So the roughed out version, you can see the arm is there. It's still lots of material um, but the elbow is defined the point is defined there's a bit of a hollow in here so that then we can create the glove coming around the front uh, I've got the the crutch in here where the bend in the elbow is and it's just very rough roughly made but it helps you visualize how that arm is going to be shaped uh, this will likely be straighter through here eventually. Uh, remember that little notch up here was for his uh, his sleeve, the the sleeve here, and uh, that's if you want to have the, a short sleeve shirt on him. Uh, your call as to how you want him dressed. Okay, so that leaves all this bulk here to create that glove, and uh, we'll address that after we get the other el elbow set. I'll let you catch up first. Can you see the bottom of the arm? Okay, let's talk about this diagram first, the design that we're working from. And if you take a look at this guy here, you'll see that his left shoulder is lower than his right shoulder. But if you take a look at the other, the back view, it's the other way around. And they've got it reversed, so it depends on how the picture is taken. So what I did when I did the rough out is I used this design here. So his left arm is lower than his right arm. To me that made more sense because his arm is behind his back so it should be lowered. So you can see in the in the cutout 
that this is lower than this side here. So that naturally follows then that the elbow could either be level or the same distance or a little bit lower down on his left arm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so uh, just arbitrarily pick a, a spot and, and I, I lined it up with the hole that I had and right or wrong, that, you know, but I, I just went with the idea that it's somewhere in around where I had the hole here uh, where the elbow is going to be. It can be a little bit lower, but again, the elbow is pointed nearly completely out, and that's and that's the case. So, so create a flat spot on on there so that you can f try and orient where that elbow is going to be. So I'm going to uh, arbitrarily pick a spot and say that's where his his elbow is going to be right there. Okay. And then uh, that's that's my start point. So then I can start to shape it up and come down around behind. Now, if you look at the the rear view of where the ball and the hand is, all right, I like to leave all of that material there. So I'm going to stop it the same as I did like the, with the glove on the front. I'm going to stop it roughly at the side of the body, where where I visualize where the side of the body is going to be. So that's where that that hole is, is going to be where I'm going to stop it, is right, right there. So I'm going to shape all of this section here and then leave this bulk for the, for the, bo for the ball and, and his hand here, okay? So I'll go ahead and get that roughed out. Okay, so there it is, kind of roughed out. I've got the general shape coming and you can start to visualize how the arm comes down. So the arm comes down, twists back and to go behind his back and no, not even touch the ball or the bottom of his hand, any of that stuff in here. Just get that general shape set up coming through there. Okay.